I don't, another mistake people make, yeah, they call it an unk. But okay. they, yeah, if you look at it, it's not really an unk. Yeah. Because there's two, eh? Yeah, no, I was wondering that. Yeah. But I see on your arm there. there yeah, one. that's the unk there. That's right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So, so, like, everything we teach, and, and we go through levels, yeah, so the unk will actually lead you to the unk too. Just like I said, belief will lead you, lead you to knowing. It's not that we don't deal with things that other people deal with, but they've got a misinterpretation for it. So, for example, you'll have the Holy Ghost, mm. but we deal with the Holy Spirit. Mm. Two different things, you know what I mean? But well, sorry, sorry, God, what's, what's the difference between the Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit? Do you want me to finish with the ankh first? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just touching on that. Yeah, you're blowing my mind. That's <laughs> it, yeah, yeah we, we, we're going to get to that. So, yeah. the ankh represents life. Yeah, yeah, okay. And if you look in, um, in Egypt on the walls, on the pyramids, you always see like, our deities and our ancestors holding the ankh because it's the key to life. Whereas the cross was taken from this. So you, you're, you're looking at Christians with a cross where they, they're saying Jesus was murdered on the cross. Mm. Yeah, I did say murdered because mm. like, it wasn't a nice death. You know I mean? He came to save the world and then he couldn't save himself, which doesn't kind of make sense, but we can come back to that. So the ankh <laughs> represents um, the, the key to life and the resurrection in terms of your being... Because, like I said at the beginning, like you've been lied to, to the point where you don't know who you are anymore, you don't know what your spirituality is, so you need like a key to turn the ignition on, right? right? So once you do that, you open up your, what we call the solar plexus, so you spark the light in you, right? We call that the green light. In the Bible, they say um, the light is in the darkness, but the darkness comprehends it not, yeah? People say, oh, he's talking about because he said the, less, the greater light and the lesser light. And people that don't understand that, they will say that's the sun and the moon. But the, the moon doesn't have a light. Mm. Yeah, the moon is non-luminous, so it reflects the light of the sun. The reason that's so important is because once you turn that key, you become the sun, S-U-N, which they turn to S-O-N, as in the son of God. Because the sun is what gives life, yeah? So ancient Egyptians used to raise their hands to give reverence to the sun because without the sun on this planet, everyone dies. Muhammad, Jesus, everyone. Yeah, so the Ankh leads you to the Ankh Tui. This is called the Ankh Tui. But tui in our language means two. So you have your first life where you, you were originally um, given birth and then you got kind of like indoctrinated and bamboozled and got spellbound and then now you're waking up again what we call a second resurrection in religion they teach you that you have to die first and go to heaven we say no you can be born again right here once your third eye is open and you can now start to see clearly which is really clairvoyance clairvoyance means clear vision because what it is you get back your higher powers you have four higher powers or senses let me give you another thing they do they tell you you've got five senses, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which is what? Sight, hearing, smelling, taste. But all of those are one because all of them deal with touch. Like for you to see something, light has to hit your, your retina, your eye. For you to smell something, you, you, you know, you, air and um, something has to touch your nose, yeah? The same with your taste. Something has to touch your taste buds or your tongue. The ear, you get sound waves, they have to touch your ear. All of that comes to one, which is touch or perception or awareness, yeah? The other four, which they kind of hide, is intuition, telepathy, psychometry, and as I said, clairvoyance. So with those four plus the one, you actually have five, but it's really nine mm -hmm. because of the five plus the four. This is why I said about the number nine. It's going to keep coming up when you start to deep it and go into levels, you see what I mean? So... Yeah, so I hope that's answered your question because I know I kind of went on a bit, but you know what I mean? Like I said, we got a lot of information. <laughs>